let's let's get into E Rock's MySpace blog. Oh yeah, come on now. Good. Here Time for is. some interesting reading. Got it what? right on top. E Rock, you can't leave. E Rock, where are you going? Oh. All right. Eric's right. not leaving. All right. He's right. going to take it like a man. All right. Sit, sit down, kiddo. Well, just because gonna... he's sitting there, Opie, doesn't mean he's going to take it like a man. Uh, believe that's right. Me. He'll I, take it like a boy. As soon as we said uh, Erock's MySpace blog, he got up, and I thought he was he was fleeing the area. Yeah. Uh, talking in movie theaters, current mood, annoyed. Now, how many blogs have you done so far? I think about four. Five. Four blogs on various subjects uh, covering what? Movies, this one. is uh, What else? Just other stuff going on. Other stuff going on in your life? What? Yeah. Um, the Gowanus. <laughs> what do you, men? No, uh, no thanks. Men. <laughs> um, not just everyday stuff going on. Yeah, like, like, the going music industry. All right, music industry. Than, I think I'll leave it to Than to just get every single one of them. Very good, Than. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Uh, what, what were his other blogs about? North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just want to get a feel for what he's writing about. This. Why, Is that would, why would it be on? <laughs> Check. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. T versus Chuck Norris. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, now, that was going on, but I wanted to know when were you vacationing in Faggot Town that that was going on. <laughs> Holy shit, you did not. Uh, Monday, April 10th, 2006. Screw this one. Uh, Mr. T versus Chuck Norris. Current mood, content. content. My buddy Mike has this new list posted on his blog, Mr. T versus Chuck Norris. It's a hoot. You wrote, it's a hoot? It's yeah. a hoot, and say hi to Mike as well. Here, go to that. What's the Mr. T versus Chuck Norris thing? It's a hoot. What made you hoot? Oh, my God. You did not fall for one of these stupid emails. No. These cut and paste Chuck Norris. Thing. Anytime I see something, I get the Chuck Norris thing. Did you write a blog on, on why chocolate is better than men? Oh. <laughs> chocolate never talks I just made a yet. fortune from Nigeria. <laughs> Somebody left me millions. This is like chicken soul for the douche. <laughs> chicken soul? Oh, God oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, he was enjoying the praise, too, man. That was you a good one. You were enjoying that, it. That's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chicken soul. <laughs> Maybe that's why the great physicist doesn't want to hang out with you. I know. <laughs> goes Griffey looking up, and it's out of here. Yeah. Or is it? No, it's all too oh, long. Oh, My mistake. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Dr. Close. Cock would have known the answer to that. <laughs> I'm a bag of jizz. That's what I am. Uh, sit down, have a nice hot cup of chicken soul. Oh, oh God Almighty. Well, e Rock, be honest oh, with me. Yeah. You want to do some soup searching next time? <laughs> you try to come up with a fucking joke. <laughs> I, want to, I want to watch Soup Train and dance. <laughs> Be honest with us. Yeah, exactly. You, you From really... your head down to the soup seer shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think this was a hoot? <laughs> oh, it was all right. It was what, funny. were you on an island? Someone's you were on an island, you were the soup survivor? <laughs> <laughs> Were you going to suggest that we read this on the air? No. <laughs> well, if it was a hoot, wouldn't you bring it to our attention yeah. so we can make some good radio Share out of it? the hootness. Exactly. It wasn't that kind of a hoot. No. It was just something stupid to read online. It made you chuckle? A little. A little bit? Like, All right. Like this made you chuckle. Did it warm your soup? Right. Mr. T <laughs> and Chuck Norris. If Mr. T pitied a fool at the same time Chuck Norris roundhouse kicked him in the face, the world would implode. I want to know where the hoot is. Yeah, where's the hoot? Where's the hoot in that? Oh. That's ahead, it? Dan. Where's Dan's got the hoot. That's the whole thing? I don't... Uh, yeah, that's like... But, but that's see, one thing. That's where I would stop reading. <laughs> I wouldn't give it this thing another... A, a second chance here. Where's the hoot? I don't know. Was the where's hoot the later hoot on? I don't know. Is it a time release hoot? I don't know. Later? I don't know. Hootness in later paragraphs. Oh, there's a list of things that would happen if they fought. Yes. All right, well. Right. All right, what's Tweet, the second one? They're both so right. bad. Can we get them printed out real quick? Is that possible? Why don't we sure. get the second one here? What's the second one? All right. Because well, we, oh, oh, maybe the first one wasn't much of a hoot. You're saying the first one may have been a warm-up. All right, the yeah. second one. On the 18th, Face, Hannibal, and Murdoch were all masters of disguise. Mr. T didn't have to wear a disguise. The bad guys didn't recognize him out of fear. <laughs> I can see a little laugh oh there. God. Oh, nah. my God. Number three, there are only four horsemen of the apop uh, uh, apocalypse. <laughs> Yvonne. Of Yvonne. The apocalypse. Of the apocalypse. Because Mr. T is going to walk. We're cakes for nothing. 
Mr. So far, not even a chortle or a smirk. Oh, I don't know how you got hoot. Mr. Oh, it's building towards disdain. Mr. T once <laughs> shook hands with Chuck Norris, or so it appeared. In actuality, their combined power caused an earthquake, which gave their hands a look of shaking to any onlookers who were probably too scared to accurately testify Anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have just winged the newspaper. Where's you know the... what else had that effect? When Michael J. Fox shook Hepburn's hand. <laughs> you, know what, you know what happened? There, there was this Chuck Norris thing that happened a few months back that uh, came out of nowhere, was mildly entertaining for a minute because it was new. Now people are trying to come up with new things for a joke that is like done. You couldn't and have it's found not, this a hoot. It's not he, really a hoot. Maybe the hoot's coming. All you, right, let me keep you, going. You may be judging right. this too. There may be a big laugh on the horizon. All right. All right. Mr. Willing. T invented fools. Realizing the magnitude of his folly, he then created pity. I'm wondering what your head would look like with my fist in it. <laughs> 23. Skidoo. That's the number of people Mr. T has pitied in the time it has taken you to read this sentence. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. You really want to work for a morning zoo. I could feel it. This is morning zoo stuff. Has Whoopi returned your resume? <laughs> Call it whatever you're doing. Oh, oh, wow. I, 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 you know what I meant. I don't know. I'm just tired. And oh, you're a good all soup. Right. We all have copies of this. Mr. Oh T once God. punched Chuck Norris at the exact moment he roundhouse kicked Mr. T in the chest. The result was the 80s. I'm looking to see Iraq's lips. They're not moving up in a smile fashion. Mm -mm. Mr. T is allergic to doorknobs. That's why he can only kick through doors. Mr. T's pity for fools is used by mathematicians as a demonstration of the concept of infinity. Whoa, 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 hold on. Mr. T's pity for fools is you... Mr. T once pitied the sun. An ice age followed. Wow. This Where is so fucking uh, bad. Uh, um, we're, uh, the fact oh, that you got a hoot thanks. out of this. Where are we? Uh, we? You really put this up thinking it was kind of amusing. I just linked to it. Why would you? I just linked to it. It's I, just following orders. I once linked to something equally hilarious. It was the fucking beheading video on Ogrish. <laughs> this is fucking horrid. <laughs> on all 3,428 instances, instances... That's a funny number, though. God, That's yeah. a funny number. It occurred. Uh, when Mr. <laughs> T and Chuck Norris both deflowered the same woman, the resulting spermal battles have caused the woman's uterus to explode in a flurry of pity and round house kicks. I imagine those same battles were fought on your back and chin, weren't they? <laughs> uh, Mr. T once rocked the Casbah, which explains why there is no longer a Casbah. <laughs> like, could someone else continue? What are you, eight? The last time Mr. T went to McDonald's, or as he would call it, McDonald's, Ronald McDonald greeted him. What occurred next proved to be the most violent beating of a clown ever recorded in human history. It's unfortunate he didn't walk into XM and meet an associate producer. <laughs> Mr. T is not black. It's just that the sun is afraid to shine on him. Mm -hmm. There better be a hoot in the next five lines or you're this, losing teeth, son. This couldn't be funny if it was written by Soli Sales. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> that tops mine. I see. I'm reading this from Soul to Nuts, but that was better. <laughs> Look up in the way. It's Solar Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, up and away you got it. Yeah. Uh, look up and away instead of up in the sky. I'm a dumb cunt. <laughs> up and away? Whatever that faggot would say when he flew away before his wheelchair. Oh. Despite popular beliefs, if there is a fool in the woods and nobody is around to hear his jibba jabba, Mr. T is still able to pity him. I actually hate you right now. Jibba jabba. D jibba jabba. Uh, another instant feedback coming in. This is absolutely hootless. <laughs> There's not a hoot to be found. Mr. T was fired from the Psychic Friends Network for always predicting pain. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The fact that Mr. T is like used as like a kind of a cool, tough figure. Before Mr. T, the alphabet only had uh, 25 letters. Yeah. Did it have a D, an O, a U, a C, an H, or an E? <laughs> How about a B, an A, or a G? Did it have those letters? Both Mr. T and Chuck Norris think E-Rock is a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T made his van go twice the speed of light because he wanted to prove that quantum physics was a bunch of jibba-jabba. Mm. Jibba jabba. Yeah. Jibba jabba again. Again. And it ties in mocking Dr. Kaku's livelihood, which I don't care for. No. Good friend. Mr. T was originally cast to play Arnold Jackson on different strokes. Uh oh. I wonder if Linda Stacy is strapping in for this one. Unfortunately, every time he said, What you talking about, Willis, Willis shit himself. That's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> number 24 out of 25 is kind of funny. Yeah, shit. Kind of funny. Approaching, not a hoot. Approaching a hoot. That's pretty funny. Not a hoot. Every time Mr. T pities the fool, the porn star regains her virginity, then proceeds to lose it to Mr. T. Well, there goes that yeah, laugh. Whatever. Sucked out in the vacuum of horribleness that you thought to link to. Because according to you, this is fucking Woody Allen's latest novel. Well, thanks, Iraq. That was wonderful. No problem. That was good. Mm. That was good. And then, and then they don't even care about him ever again. But then there's the other ones that are like, oh my god, I want to show my friend blank, but I can't find it on Foundry because I don't know how right. to search for it. <laughs> so I'm just emailing yeah. in. Iraq, current mood, homosexual. <laughs> 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 All right. People yeah. want Erock to read his own blog. That's yeah, it, it's got to uh, be in his voice. So it's Erock's MySpace blog. It's uh, titled "Talking in Movie Theaters." Just saw X Men Three. Wasn't a big fan of the movie. Not as good as the others, but this posting isn't about that. On the show, there was an old bit where Anthony went to see Mission Impossible Two, and people wouldn't shut up in the movie theater. I happened to be in a theater in the same area where that event had taken place. Several years later, the same situation occurred. No, you have to read same the way it's written. Mm -hmm. Several years later, several years later, and the same situation occurred. Over the years, I've tried to take notice of other people doing uh, other people doing the same thing. Yet it all comes down to one group. I was trying to approach this carefully, but there is no way to do so. Black people need to shut up in movie theaters. Wow. Wow. Now, whoa. 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 Seriously. Shut up. People paying I just uh, People <laughs> paying <laughs> for this movie aren't paying atten- uh, aren't paying for your commentary nor your reactions, especially when you repeat the dialogue or describe the scene that just happened. What is wrong with you? At one point in the movie, there was an obvious attempt to coin a catchphrase by having one of the characters say, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Really? Are you? And then I referenced Jim Norton of course, right next to yeah. it. a boy, Hawk. Uh, right after the line, about four people, one being an obnoxious preteen girl, saying that line for the next five minutes. And she uh, said, why does the popcorn feel all buttery at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Why is... What's sticking through the popcorn? It feels like the luck of monster. It's a pickle! At this point, I've had... I, I don't know. At this point, I've had enough and did the stupid sh- sound. Her head... Oh, so you didn't uh, bitch at the black people... You 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 were a real man and went after after the preteen girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good one. It went. Shh. Yeah, I should talk. It's like us going after the progeria. Uh, I know. Who are we kidding? Uh, her head sunk into her neck sideways and gave me one of those "Oh no, you didn't" eyes. Whatever. Ten well, minutes. Tough talk, Hawk. <laughs> Whatever. Wait Ten a, minutes later. A, did I say that right? Wait a minute. Wait a tough talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're having. <laughs> you're all right. Wait a tough talk, Hawk. <laughs> Well, way to talk. That actually works with a tough talk, Hawk. But I did say it wrong. Yeah. I'm a whole ass. <laughs> You're still a good soup. Someone, yeah. we didn't get to him. They're like, I didn't know uh, Fred the Flubber was <laughs> doing a radio <laughs> show with you guys today. <laughs> you know, it takes a blind muscle to smile that it does to frown. I know that by just intuition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Continue there after the whatever, because that's, that's tough talk there. Exactly. Ten minutes later, she's at it again, as is most of the crowd. What is it? All right. What is in you people that forces you to com- to be complete annoyances to the rest of society by doing this? 
Before the movie, they play messages to turn off your cell phone, and that silence is golden, and that's in quotes. How about one of those, if the lights are lowered and you all... And all you see are eyes and teeth. That means shut up and enjoy the show. <laughs> if they ever do another X-Men movie, may I suggest a new character named Silent Night, a black person with the ability to sit silently in public gatherings. Yeah. That wasn't that bad. Silent Night, Me too. It wasn't really a hoot. I like when he said whatever. That showed defiance and yeah. rage. Yeah. That wasn't bad, Hawk. We gave you a business over nothing. You're a good writer. Write another blog. We'll get to it. <laughs> Just when he writes these blogs, you'd think he was the real person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, go back and read the ones you already have up there. Read a few of those. Mm, all right. Show the, oh, they're already printed out. <laughs> of course they are. Dan's, Dan's ready at the wheel of the bus. On his first one, we got it. At <laughs> the wheel of the bus. Dan's a good boy. <laughs> Put it in gear. <laughs> yeah, there's some questions about the blog coming in now, right? Uh, Wilson in Tennessee. Wilson? Hey, uh, I was just wondering, does Eric hate black people in general or just those that are in movie theaters? Just those in movie theaters, sir. All right, now what about the black people that are going to be at Jimmy's show in Nashville, July 27, 28, and 29 at Zany's mm. Comedy Club, 615-269-0221? Good question, sir. I'd like to hear the racist answer to that. I will not be attending that. All right. i got to tell you, that's why all the Tennessee calls. Yep. Because I think, uh, yeah, they know you're coming, Jimmy. Oh, I am coming to Nashville, yeah, in July. Uh, Tyrone, who's a black trucker. Tyrone. Hello, Tyrone. Hey, hey, yeah, I, I want to know if that white motherfucker that was just talking is going to be up on them uh, walk-bys you guys do on 54th yeah. Street. Yeah, 54th, yep, he's going to be there right on 54th <laughs> Street. All right, cool, because maybe, maybe, maybe he needs a little practice saying some of that dumbass honky shit to a motherfucker in real life, you know what I'm saying? You keyboard motherfucking warrior sitting there talking all kinds of shit yep. when you on it, when you safe at home right. in your computer. Have some balls, nigga. Tyrone. That's what I respect. I respect Tyrone. Who said some shit. He doesn't say it to people's faces. He says it behind their blacks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you're my favorite, man. Tyrone, if you're going to do a drive-by, by the way, just concentrate and make sure you aim for the one that has the toupee. <laughs> it's not. A, it doesn't. For real though, you're my favorite. Oh, thanks. And all the mother motherfuckers is hating. It's, thanks, it's, man. It's not a. It's no, not a toupee. Oh, he was doing the not you. <laughs> and I was, damn it, if yeah. I hung up a half second more, you wouldn't sir, have heard it. I would have felt really good. <clears throat> All right. Damn. Uh, let's go to Phil in Indianapolis. Phil? Hey, we love Frank the Frowner, but has anyone ever noticed that he sounds like the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz on a two-day drunk? Well, the Cowardly Lion was always frowning, kind mm, of. That's I think right. It's just the uh, shape of the mouth muscles. That's the sound of sadness, sir. Right. Absolutely. Oh, we love Frank's very brave. Vanilla Gorilla in South Carolina. I was wondering if Opie could say a viral video one more time. <laughs> I guess if you go to YouTube.com, YouTube.com, and search for Opie and Anthony, hundreds of videos are up there. Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, YouTube. Yes. All right. I think we're out of here, man. Anything else you rock? No, nope, that's it. I wanted to um, encourage people to watch the awful Lucky Louie Marathon tonight at 8.30. If you're, unless you're a Scott and Todd fan, then you might not want to because you won't like it. We should have some fun with uh, Scott and Todd tomorrow. <clears throat> Did you read these? Uh, Iraq gets a four for stupidity, but an eight for racism? No. Work on it? He said, you people. Called them you people? Jesus, Hawk, you're a shoot-from-the-hip, take-no-guff kind of guy. <laughs> Good golly. I'd hate to get on your bad side, faggot. Whatever. <laughs> I know. He what? almost told him to talk to the hand. <laughs> Didn't your girlfriend? <laughs> to smash your face with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> there was another black guy that wanted to yell at you, but he hung up. Well, get him, get him back on the phone. I don't know what happened. He was from Detroit, too. That's oh. a badass area. Oh, that's going to be a problem. That's right. By the way, if you're going to do a drive-by, aim for the incompetent. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. That was just mean. I didn't mean it. All right. I think uh, you're very good. Tomorrow, just for XM listeners, we got about, uh, I don't know, 20 pairs of tickets to see corn. September 2nd at Jones Beach as part of the family. And we're selling them outside. The family value store. <laughs> we'll give them out in front of XM tomorrow morning uh, when we complete the walkover, okay? Right. So that's just for XMers. We're not going to tell the other side about this. And if you can't, if you can't 
be here. Just send a self-addressed stamp envelope, and we'll send you these corn tickets with backstage passes. <laughs> no, we won't. Oh, we won't. We can't do that. that. We can't? All right. <laughs> Forget that. Ixnay on the envelopes A. <laughs> Adam? Yep. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Adam. Absolutely. Always good seeing you, fellas. Good seeing you again. I'm just looking through Where's, some, the, where's uh, the plug? Uh, Mohegan. Oh, Mohegan Sun, Sun, July. What 14th and 15th. 15th. I'll right. be at the Mohegan Sun Casino. Very, very good. And Iraq will be writing a blog of the performance afterwards. Oh, hold on. Here's Sam. He's back. Uh, Sam. Hey. Sam? Hello. Hello? Hey, Sam. What's up? Hey, yeah, man. Why do I have to uh, be classified with you know? Because you sat before, you you sat behind some uncouth niggas. Truth. Agreed, Sam. Why do I have to be classified in that? Why, Eric? Did you lump everybody into one category? Well, was yeah. he in the theater? He wasn't there. No, he's saying why would you classify all black people right. when he wasn't there? Because. You people, shit. Yeah, right. yeah, that was the part that bothered you, right? We went, why do you people? Mm. Whatever. No, that that is such bullshit, no, that no, whole no, you no. people no, shit. It's, it's not a whatever thing, though. You know, you said it. You did say yeah, it. Yeah, but I also yeah. stated that after several times of seeing this going on, it's always the same group of people. What group is that? They happen to be black. No, do oh. they really? Imperial wizard? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Hey, peace out. Y'all the best. Hold on, Thanks, Sam. Bro. I think you're going to want to hear this. e say what you said earlier. My name is Eric, and I hate blacks and Jews. <laughs> why would you say that? Why would you say that to Sam? Why would you say that to Sam while he's on the phone? I don't know. Sam's well, an honest, in the mood. He's a fan you of the know. show. You could have waited until he hung up. Why it's so much gotta, easier that way. You got to start trouble all the time. Exactly. Why do you say your name first? Just say the and statement. pick up your hood. I can't see you. <laughs> My name is Eric, and I hate blacks and Jews. <laughs> All right, man. You're the best. Bye, Sam. My name is Eric, and I hate blacks and Jews. Wow. <laughs> I am Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I hate My name blacks is Eric, and, and I hate blacks and Jews. Again! <sighs> My name is Eric, and I hate blacks and Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate Jews. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. Hey, you're clever. Jesus. I love Hawk. All right. Hmm. Let's get out of here. I got to go home.